Get the latest on what's going on this earnings season, meets, beats, and more in Zach's Earnings Scorecard. Now we're going to get the latest on Amazon stock from Eric Dutram. He is the editor of Zach's Surprise Trader. He keeps tabs on what goes on during earnings season. And you put them on your scorecard uh, as far as what's expected from them to report, what they do report. We're sitting here talking the week of April the 25th. Amazon reports on Thursday That's right. this week, you said, right? That's right. And uh, Amazon's really been an investor favorite over the last couple of months and years. They're expanding into a lot of other areas. I know we've been yeah, talking about that. Yeah, we don't even call that. them anymore. Yeah, I think e-commerce is probably the best thing, but they're they're doing a lot of work in the cloud, and they're they're doing video as well now right, with their right. uh, some of the other products out there. Their, their uh, Amazon Echo is also kind of a, a newcomer to the scene. So, mm -hmm. you know, investors are definitely going to watch uh, a lot of these metrics when the company reports on Thursday. Hopefully we get some more numbers on their prime subscribers. That's definitely a key area for Amazon and their future growth. These sort of members uh, spend a lot more with Amazon than non-prime members. So that's going to be a key area to watch. Some of their supply chain expansion, talk of buying an airport in, in Germany. Right. Uh, they're buying more trucks and planes, ships. So uh, sort Drones of Drones to it, deliver their stuff. Exactly. So <laughs> sort of this vertical integration uh, up the supply chain will definitely be something to watch for investors. Who knows what kind of details we'll get uh, from Amazon. They're a little bit, play things close to the vest. But if we look to some of the recent stats for Amazon, we can see that investors are really betting on these growth metrics. We can see that the PE is 132, huge compared to the industry average of about 18.3. Um, you know, some of the other metrics here, their peg ratio, uh, it's quite higher than the industry average of 1.22. So investors are definitely hoping for a lot of growth in, in this company in the months and you know, years ahead. And uh, if we look to their growth metrics, we can see that Amazon you know, has delivered in the past when, when it comes to growth, 151% um, historical EPS growth compared to industry average of about 19%. Uh, and then the projected number, that's really what investors have to hope that Amazon lives up to to sort of justify this high, high multiple. 275% for Amazon compared to industry average uh, of less than 20. So that's definitely going to be a key for investors if, if Amazon can continue to grow. Uh, Amazon is a quite volatile stock in earnings season, though. If we look to their recent history, uh, we can see that Amazon you know, ha has a history of either big misses or big beats. Last quarter was a 37% miss. Uh, before that, you know, we saw a 270% beat on earnings. So. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely some volatility in earnings. The stock has been a nice trend here, as we can see, but this, this latest miss was definitely put a lot of pressure on the stock. We are approaching new highs yet again, so it will be interesting to see what happens when Amazon reports on Thursday. We're looking for $0.61 cents a share in earnings. Um, this is BNRI, so we, we uh, account for stock options, and that's why our number is a little different than the street. Mm -hmm. uh, estimates have been coming down into this number, though. We have an earnings ESP of negative 6.6%. And the full year earnings ESP is approaching negative 20%. That's not really what you want to see when you're going into the report. You want to see those numbers going higher into the uh, earnings call. Right. We're not seeing that with Amazon. It's a really volatile stock. I could see it beating by a, a, a ton. I could see it missing by a ton. It's just so, it's a real scary play at, at earnings season. I'm personally going to avoid it for now. I think it, it still has great long-term potential. But as an earnings play, this is a real boomer bust type company. Even though you're not a covering analyst, uh, as somebody who really looks beneath the surface on a lot of these companies, is there any concern going forward that uh, you might feel Amazon could get too diluted for their own good as far as their product line? Uh, definitely, but they're trying to do something uh, where they're also expanding out like their, their prime offering to sort of make it so you basically have to buy it if you're any type of consumer, like yeah. their video, um, and they're putting it in the prime, and they're putting all sorts of other products uh, together in this bundle. It, it's sort of like an offer that's too good to refuse. And I think that's really at the heart of their strategy at Amazon. So, you know, sometimes we might think they're expanding a bit too far, but I, I think if you look at this sort of bundle aspect, it, uh, it really makes a lot more sense. All right, thanks for that. Don't forget, more earnings information, commentary uh, in, on the market in general, uh, on the earnings aggregate trends. Uh, you can find commentary on individual stocks during earnings season, and anytime, really, on Zacks.com. Link to it all off the homepage if you're not there already. With Eric, I'm Terry Ruffalo.